Alright, so here, I was thinking on these big jet piles, we can grow food. good sized farm with a lot of food because there's going to be a lot of people living here. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in this nice paradise compared to out there? We'll even put in a greenhouse. That way they can grow all year round. So that's the kind of stuff you're going to have to think about if you're in this kind of situation. It's like, yeah, spring and summer, you're going to have lots of food. Yeah, let's go one more row, why not? We'll be very ambitious. Now I know with the mute fruit it's hard to find your settlers, but this is more about making it look good and how it would really be. Like I know some people they, they like to put the carrots down and everything makes it easy to find the settlers, but uh, really are you gonna live a whole colony's gonna live off of nothing but carrots? kind of disguise the old junk of all the old trashed out houses that were right here. This way they can make bread, all the stuff that you can make from flour. Should we float there? place anywhere on this food. find a place where it actually touches the ground and then we'll put it there too. Alright, grain. Okay, now we're gonna go with some corn. It touches the ground and lets us put it in there. Understand why I won't let you look at this. I mean, you can put it there, but you can't put it here. It doesn't make any sense. I have to just use this little whole area for melons. It won't let me put anything down. And this doesn't make any 
sense at all. I mean, at least it's something. walkways or something right here just to help cover that up all right we'll put in tato's then it's all the tato's i have in my inventory all right that's fine So annoying. Maybe if I turn it sideways? Yeah, see, there we go. of foods to eat. hovering over something invisible. <laughs> Alright, we got some corn, carrots, razor grain, tatos, and mute fruit. 
Alright. I think that's a pretty good farm right there. <laughs>